Good morning guys, Sam here, Blue Feather Homestead. Today I'm going to make some dulce de leche, which is like this wonderful confection that tastes like caramel, but it isn't caramel. Um, it's kind of like an in-between of butterscotch and caramel. And you know, and you, I mean, you could put it on cheesecakes, um, you can even put it in your coffee, and that's what I like to do. So this is a 14 ounce um, can of sweetened condensed milk. And it should fill four of these half pints, and I'm going to try it. There are different ways that you can do this, but I'm going to boil mine today for three hours. Um, you can crock pot it, slow cook it in a crock pot for like six to eight hours. Um, I've done it that way. I just peel off the label, and you just fill up your water, cover the tops, and um, slow cook it for six to eight hours. And then it comes out to be this yummy yummy wonderful caramel like concoction I'm filling these up just about to that bottom line there you can see just about to the bottom line there I'm gonna put lids on these caps and I'm gonna put them in my it's gonna be almost like a water bathing canning process this takes three hours, but you know what? It's going to cook that into the caramel-like state. And it will also seal your jars. I give these as Christmas presents. I mean, how cute is that? Just a few apples and then jar of this caramel. Caramel-like stuff. <laughs> so you just fill those up. To the bottom line. I don't quite think I'm gonna get another jar full. I'm gonna grab another can. I'm just gonna open this other can here. After this seals, they say to use it within about three months or so. Um, you can keep it in the refrigerator for about two weeks if it's not sealed and it'll still be good. Hopefully this is going to fill this all the way up to the top here. I might have to scrape a little bit. No big deal. Okay, so it filled it up, the last one. So it took four cans of the sweetened condensed milk for two, four, six jars, six half pint jars. I'm just going to wipe these off with some warm water. The rims here. I use that sweetened condensed milk for um, snow ice cream also. This stuff is so delicious at, on its own. But it makes that just perfect caramel tasting syrup. I'll wipe these down. I'm going to use my um, pressure canner, but I'm just not going to put the lid on there to boil these because I have a um, rack I can put down on the bottom and then they'll sit on that rack not directly on the bottom you can do this in any kind of pan that you have I would just line it with a towel at the bottom so that's not directly on that heat I'll wipe that a little bit over here all right now I'm just gonna put the lids on this is gonna be like a water bath I've placed all six jars into my pressure canner. I'm just using this because it has a rack in the bottom. I'm not gonna put the lid on. They're covered with water, I'd say about an inch over. Um, this has to boil for three hours. And once it starts boiling, I'm gonna set my timer for three hours. And then I wanted to show you also that I have this pan over here that I'm gonna heat up and make sure that this water stays hot because you know this water over here is gonna evaporate and you're gonna to wanna to have this water to kind of pour over the top to keep them covered. Well, I went ahead and jarred up three more you know because why not <laughs> it's so good and um, I'd like to have these on my shelf anyway throughout the winter you know I mean we're so busy we're stocking up rice and beans and potatoes and you know our our staples and things to get us through this winter that they're claiming is going to be a dark winter that we kind of forget about the sweets and things like that well so this will be nice to have on our shelf and um, I can give these as gifts or you know or we could just eat them all right it already reached a boiling point I turned it down to low because it will be, this is supposed to be a slow cooking process. 
So um, the burner is on low. It's at a very low boil. The uh, jars are covered with water. Just keep an eye on it and make sure that they're covered with water. Um, I went ahead and set the timer for three hours, so we'll come back when the timer's up. I'm gonna also going to put a dab of white vinegar in here, just like I would if I was doing any other canning. Uh, that'll prevent you know the cloudiness on the outside of your jars. I decided to move all my jars on the outside of the um, canner. As you can see, it's just like on the outside because as I was looking at it, I thought, oh, I would hate for one of those jars just to be directly over my burner and, you know, burn one or two of them or whatever. So I just thought it would be a good idea to um, go ahead and set them on the edges. It's been three hours. My timer went off. I'll go ahead and pull these out. You can already see that they are this beautiful color of brown. Oh, that's already pinging. Okay. Wow, as soon as I pulled that out, ping. They're sealing. That is beautiful. Aren't those pretty? They are beautiful. I'm going to let those cool. Well, they have cooled down a little bit, but they're not. They're still a little bit warm. I kind of wanted to show you if you could see the consistency here. Can you see that? It's like some of them are a little bit thicker than others you know they need to cool all the way but I just kind of wanted to show you this one's not moving too much so some came out thicker than the others which is just fine um, I'm gonna go ahead and open this one because it's uh, pretty loosey-goosey if you can see here and I'm gonna put some of that in my coffee they all sealed they're all sealed tight so I'm gonna have to use this to open it and it popped open and that looks so good you see that it is just this is just like caramel except for it's dulce de luce I love saying that it's so fun so like I said I'm gonna put a little bit in my coffee have a little bit of afternoon coffee here we're gonna put that in and give it a mix Cheers. You guys, that is so good. So good. I'm going to give it a little nibble right out of the jar. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Just wanted to show you that even just sitting here for a minute, that the consistency has changed. Do you see how that is just like caramel syrup? Okay, so good. So many different things you can use this for. You can, you know, dip your apples in it, your bananas, whatever. You can put it on top of your ice cream, put it on top of cheesecake. Mm, the, the possibilities are just endless. This stuff is so delicious, and I hope you give this a try. Thanks for watching, guys, and God bless. Have a good day. Bye-bye.